All right. We're going to continue on with our Playlist Builder series. This is part four. And this is um, way number three. This is the third way to do playlists. And then um, there are four ways to do playlists. So we're, we're getting there. <laughs> All right. So, by the way, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. I want to know that um, you are enjoying these. You're learning from these. And um, leave a comment or two to let me know that you're, you're learning from these videos. Also, I would like to invite you to go over to howtoyouseradiodj.com. You say, well, you're doing all, that, all of it on YouTube. Why do I need to go join? Well, because over there, there are things that I'm doing over there that I can't do on YouTube. Things that I can show you over there. All right. So let's get into... The third way to do playlist in Radio DJ. Many of you are using a program called Station Playlist. Now, I didn't prepare for this, so let me pull this up real quick. And I'm assuming I'm calling it the, the right thing. Okay, Station Playlist. So there are a lot of people that are using this program to create playlists. Okay, so um, what this program does is it allows you to create a playlist based on time. And what I mean by that is you can, just like we just saw in the previous video, how you can say, okay, I need a 120 minute playlist or, you know, five hour playlist or one hour playlist or 30 minute playlist. This does the same thing, but this can do it. Uh, I want to say a little bit more precise. And you can, you can say schedule out a whole week, but you can make the playlist break down into one hour increments. Okay. So this can do the same thing as the playlist builder through the rotation in Radio DJ. But what this does is it looks at all your files and creates a playlist based on, you know, however you set it up. And it can spit out an M3U file. So this program spits out an M3U file and Radio DJ can read that M3U file. But to really make this really work, we want to automate it. Meaning, if I spit out a, a week worth of M3U files in this program, I want Radio DJ to automatically, without me having to do anything, pull the right playlist for that day, for that hour. Okay? Now, I recommend that I don't know how to use this program, but I have had to help others who are using the program. So I know that you can format it to spit out the M3U files either by the hour, by the day, or by the week. If you're going to use this, I'm going to suggest that you spit it out by the hour. Okay. This way, if there's a, a breakdown or power outage or your system goes down, when the system comes back up, it's going to automatically or it should pull the right one when it comes back up. Okay. So when you spit this out, there's a certain way you have to spit it out. You have to format it a certain way. And so what I have here is... What I think is the best way to spit it out or format it. Today is the 19th, okay? So I'm just going to make a fake one right here. When you tell Station Playlist to create this, tell it to do it by month, dash, day, 
dash the hour. And it's going to, that hour is going to be military time. Okay. So currently it's May the 19th and it is just after 11 a.m. Okay. And so if you're going to spit it out per day, of course, you're going to have uh, 24 of these per day. If you do it for the whole week, it'll do it for each day of the week. You have 24 times seven. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of fouls. But if you do it this way, radio DJ can load the proper file at the proper time. So you see this format. We have the month in, num in numerical value. We have the date in numerical value. And we have the hour in numerical value. That's very important. We, we got to remember that, okay? This is if you're using station playlists, which a lot of guys or broadcasters are. So how do you load this in Radio DJ? It is super easy. All right. So we're going to go over to the event manager. We're going to create a brand new event. And just for the sake of keeping things together, I'm just going to say load station playlist. Okay. All right. If you do it this way, you do not have to create a whole bunch of events. You only need to create one event, depending on how you use this. So I told you the best thing to do is to do it by the hour. So we want to make sure we're scheduling by the hour, every hour. Okay. And we want to do it at the top of the hour. So I'm going to make these all zeros because it's going to pick the hour from the hours section over here. And then of course we want it the minute and the seconds to be right on the top of the hour. All right. So now let's tell radio DJ what we want it to do. First command is to load that, that, um, M3U file from playlist station playlist. So I'm going to click on the plus green sign. And we're going to select load M3U playlist by date mask. Okay. First thing he's going to ask you is, okay, cool. No problem. Where's this folder located? So we got to go and find the folder that station playlist is spitting out those M3U files to. And you can put that anywhere you want. Okay. I happen to put it on that drive in that folder. All right. Now, here's the important part, the arguments. Once you do this, the arguments is what Radio DJ is going to use to pick the right file. So we said month, numerical. So that's going to be MM, capital MM. We said a dash. We said day, numerical. It's going to be lowercase d or lowercase dd. Either one. So I'm going to do lowercase d. And then we said dash. And then we said hour. And hour, I believe, is capital H or capital HH. So I'm going to do capital HH. I don't think you have to add the dot M3U. We're going to find out here in a minute. And so we're going to add that action. Yeah, see, it added it automatically. See right there and zoom in on that, and you'll see the mm-d-hh.m3u. So it added the m3u itself. I'm going to add the play command. You shouldn't really need it, but I'm going to add it anyway. Okay. This one little event, what it's going to do, it's going to go to that folder that you're putting out those hourly playlists to. And every hour at the top of the hour is going to grab the one for that day, for that hour. It's going to load it to the top of the queue. 
because we chose top. Let me go back to that because uh, I want to explain that. Right here, when we say load uh, playlist by date mask, all right, let's go back through that. Go find that folder real quick. I forgot this section right here, the position. Most of you are going to overlook it anyway, so, and that's cool, because we want it to be on the top. We do not want it to put it on the bottom. If you choose bottom, it's going to load your playlist to the bottom of this queue, and it's not going to play on time. It's going to play whenever, however many files in the queue is going to play after those. So we always want to do top, okay? We have our path to it, and we said M-M-D-H-H. mm dash d dash h h had the action and i need to put this back to the top so i'm just going to highlight that grab it by the number two and drag it to the top all right and of course it's every day every hour add the event okay so that's what that looks like now what is it going to do it's going to load it in over here now i don't we i created that file um, I just created that file. So what I want to do, I want to come over here and I want to open. Let's open our gospel playlist. I just want to open it because I'm going to save it. Okay. I'm going to save this playlist as an M3U file. And I'm going to overwrite this one that I just falsified. Okay. Now it's, it's past the 11th hours 11 12 here but you're going to see that it will load it up anyway it's just going to be late because it loaded it up late because you know we didn't do this at the top okay so i'm done with that so now let's uh let's make this run so you can see this happen so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to mess with the, the minutes uh, i'm 13 so i'm going to do 14 okay so in 34, 34 seconds, this guy is going to load this playlist. So I'm going to get some music going. So you can see what happens. So if you got music already playing, there's no need to make a command to stop radio DJ or pause it or none of that. Watch what happens. 10 seconds. Listening to WNIA DB, Winston Salem, North Carolina, St. Mary, Jamaica. Oh, I got it in assisted mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> make sure it's in auto, auto, and uh, make sure it's complete auto. Okay, that's why I didn't continue. It was in auto DJ, but it was in assisted mode. But you see what happened? It played the station ID. Now it's playing my playlist. It's playing that gospel song. Got to turn down so I don't get flagged. It's got our, um, everything that was in that playlist is, is here. Okay. Our commercials in red. And when it gets down to, there's some more commercials. I think we got some more. When it's done, it goes right back to number, um, number 28. It goes right back to what was in the queue. Now, if you notice, we loaded up the one-hour playlist, gospel playlist. And if you notice, it got loaded up at uh, 14 after, right? Look what time it goes back to the regular programming right here, 12, 14. Pretty much right there at an hour, a couple of seconds, you know, 29 seconds uh, difference. But it loaded up right on time, I didn't need to do anything over here with Radio DJ other than make sure it's in auto, auto, which I didn't have. And it loaded it up like clockwork. I didn't have to tell it which one to get. It knew to get the right playlist based on the 05-1911. 
So if I had an 05, 19, 12, and I, this thing will grab that one. Now, if there's nothing there, I don't think it'll load anything. So if, if there's no 05, 19, 12, then it'll, it just won't load anything. It'll just continue letting whatever whatever rotation is loaded up. It'll keep uh, it'll allow that to happen. And so this is how you use play, station playlists to load up, or use Radio DJ to load up station playlists. Um, it will not recognize like names like Monday or Tuesday or May or April or June. It's not going to recognize names. It has to be numerical values. Now, a great way to find out what these numerical values are is to click on options, the rich at the bottom right, click on options, and look right here under language. See this date format? That'll tell you. Now, you can click on this. This will open up a browser, and it will take you to a place where you can get all the codes that you need. But as you see, if you want the words, you got to use more of the letters. So the D by itself will give you the numerical value, which today is the 19. But four Ds together will give you the actual day of the week, Thursday. Four capital M's in a row will get you the current month, May. But to get the numerical value, you only need two of those M's. Okay. And so this is how you can figure it, figure out what it is. But if you do it the way I showed you, I think you're going to be a okay. If you do it by the um, month, the current day and the hour. So station playlist, there'll be tons of these files in this, in this thing. But radio DJ is going to know which one to get based on that format. All right, guys, I hope this helped. This is the third way of doing playlists, and I know a lot of stations are using this particular way. And um, in the next video in part four, the part five, I think it's part five. This is part four. Part five, which will be the final playlist builder video in this series. We're going to look at the power of Radio DJ. I don't know. If it's not for a specific show, I don't know why in the world you would need Playlist Builder or anything like that. And that's what we're going to look at in the final series, part five, in our Playlist Builder. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Please give me a like, subscribe, buy me a cup of coffee. Everything you need is in the description. And I appreciate everything that you do. And don't forget, you can go over to howtousradiodj.com. And sign up for free. It's completely, totally free. See you guys in the next video.